So as long as you guys understand that with multiplication, with multiplication and division, you can apply multiplication and division. It doesn't matter what's inside the radical. Only thing that matters is that the um, index is exactly the same, right? However, for adding and subtracting, what's important about adding and subtracting, we can only combine, only combine when the index as well as the radical or radicand are exactly the same. So let me give you an example. 5, let's, maybe we'll do it over here. All right, 5 plus 7 equals 12, right? You guys are pretty good at that. All right, so now what about if I said 5x plus 7x? That equals 12x, OK? Now watch, 5 square root of um, square root of 3 plus 7 square root of 3. Based on your knowledge, what do you think that would be? OK. So when you guys are looking at these operations, I know a lot of times it's going to get confusing. And a lot of times you're going to mix things up and forget a lot of things. But again, just treat them like they are variables. The only thing is they have to be exactly the same. They have to be the same index, and they have to be the same radicand. Does that make sense? Right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't say 5x plus 5y is 12xy. Right? You can't, those aren't like terms, correct? So for them to be like terms, they have to be exactly the same index and exactly the same radicand. So when adding and subtracting for the problems you guys are going to do, the first step is to simplify, simplify, simplify. 28 is not a square number. Is there a square number that divides into 28? Yes, Ryan. What is it? Thank you. Plus 4 times is 63 is not a square number. Is there a square number that divides into 63? Does everybody follow me? I'm going to erase my little rule I had over here. OK. Square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 7. Plus 4 times 3 square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 7. 2 square root of 7 plus 12 square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 7. So now, again, if you're still having trouble with this, are these exactly the same? Are the indexes exactly? Are they all square roots? Yes. Are they all square roots of the same number? Yes. Then just think of them. If you're having trouble, convert them to the x's, guys. Just say x is equal to the square root of 7. Don't let yourself get confused. What's 2x plus 12x minus 2x? 12x. So then what's 2 square root of 7 plus 12 square root of 7 minus 2 square root of 7? OK? That's your final answer. As long as the index and the radicand are exactly the same, you just add and subtract the coefficients. And you leave the index exactly the same. Or I'm sorry, you leave the radical exactly the same. Does that make sense? Any preguntas?